I'm Greg Grugan in Houston. I'm Rudy Koski in Austin. And I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. And this is Texas, the issue is. Unlike any legislative session in recent Texas history, the odds of carving out a foothold for casino gambling in the Lone Star State have improved dramatically. This week we talk in depth with Houston State Senator Carol Alvarado, who's leading the fight to give voters the final say. Casino gambling, why now? I think it's long overdue, Greg. I think Texans are ready, their appetite is wet, it's ready, and overwhelmingly uh, we've seen uh, polling that would show that it would pass, but we have to get there. We know that this is more than just about gaming, it's about creating a destination, a resort. Is there an economic advantage? Tremendous. I can't think of anything else that we can do that would boost the economy the way this would. You're talking 185,000 jobs, direct and indirect construction, and then once it is ongoing and the four casinos are up, you're over 70,000 jobs. So it would be a boost to our economy, and it diversifies our economy. I think we should always be reinventing ourselves. How can we diversify the Texas economy? Senator, you have expressed frustration watching tens, hundreds of billions of dollars go out of the state mm -hmm. to gaming elsewhere. And we're talking about casinos that would have to have a hotel component, a four or five star hotel, restaurants and shops, venues for conferences and conventions. This is not setting up a blackjack table or putting a slot machine in a convenience store or a bar. It would be very limited for casinos in Texas and they would be heavily regulated. Um, the license holders would have to have a lot of money to put up some type of operation like that that meets all that criteria. You guys are flush right now with money. Does that hurt the fact that we have such a large surplus and, and the state can do without that revenue, at least in this biennium? This has never been about how can we stuff the state's coffers. So take that off the table. But it's about the future of Texas. And again, just continuing to look for ways to boost our economy, to diversify our economy. Okay, brass tacks. I would expect you were encouraged to hear Speaker Phelan voice mm -hmm. some support. Yes. The governor say he's willing to listen. Mm -hmm. And at least not a heck no from Lieutenant Governor Patrick. Uh, let's talk, uh, how do you make this happen? Making people comfortable that we're not uh, approving gaming, but you're simply allowing Texans to vote. Scores of lobbyists pushing this. Are they making, I guess, what would be persuasive arguments when they meet with lawmakers? I think so. They are, they all have their assignments and members that they're uh, talking to. And as you know, some of the folks last session, they ran ads on TV. They had a really effective campaign awareness going on in the media. So that has certainly gotten attention. Uh, and then you have other things that are in play, but we're staying in our lane. You have the sports betting going on and that's already happening. But I think we should you know, legalize that just like you have in gaming. You have these private uh, clubs. You have these game rooms that a lot of our constituents have complained about and trying to get them shut down because they invite a lot of uh, you know, traffic and negativity and crime activity in neighborhoods. So I think if we had these nicely regulated casinos, that could put an end to a lot of that. Hours after we spoke to Senator Alvarado, polling released by the University of Houston Hobby School of Public Affairs found 75% of Texans surveyed support destination casinos in the Lone Star State. I think Texans deserve the right to vote on it because they're traveling to so many other states nearby or away, further away, to gamble. Texans love to gamble. Okay, guys, my one word description at this moment in the process is vigorous. Rudy, what's your word? Sounds like a bowl of goulash there, <laughs> Greg. My word is dicey, not to be confused with all the ice that we've had for the past few days. All right, Stephen, how about you? One word. I'm not good with all these betting terms, but I'm going to say edge. I'll explain on the other end. All right, there you have it. Will uh, Texas actually roll the dice on casino gambling? 
The Fox Texas Trio will be back to tackle that question after the break.